Good afternoon, everybody. We will do the course in English. Um, Ami will help us a little bit in Afrikaans. Um, if you need any other questions, my name is Marna Beetz, and I will be with you for the next four weeks. Helping me is Ami De Brain. So a little bit of about us. I am a multi-grade teacher at Aki Smarts in Stanford. I teach grade one and two learners. And this will be my first time presenting this course. And I'm very excited about it. Um, so, Ami, will you please introduce yourself to us quickly? Hi, Amal. Um, I am Ami De Bruin. I am near the Overberg um, district. I come from the Cape Winelands, or the Cape Winelands. I am from Lasko, Kouwe Bokkeveld. Letterlijk Kouwe Bokkeveld. I am a graduate of En so is Marna geweldig opgewonde oor um, digitale leer en alles, alles, alles wat ons ermee kan doen. Ek het hier die kursus al gedoen, ek het het al bijgestaan vir iemand anders. Jylle gaan so, so baie leer. Ja, ek wil sê jylle lewe gaan verander met skoolhou. Ja, Marna, ons sien baie uit na jou sessie. Thank you, Ami. Um, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to put it in the chat. Remember, there are no silly questions. Um, what might seem silly to you is a very good question to somebody else. And if you think you need to post that question, I promise you there will be five other people who would have also liked to post that question, but maybe didn't have the guts to do so. So please feel free to post um, a questions in the comments or in the chat room, or if you have any um, info that you need, please just let us know. Right, let's go. So our course methodology is that this will be a self-directed learning course. So you work on your own pace. So what you put in is what you will get out. We give you the time to practice what you have learned. Um, and I would also like you to share it. If you did an activity, share it to us. Um, I promise you all of the teachers that are on this group or on this course is, uh, feels free to share. So um, if you place to put something down, please share it to the other teachers. Um, we would gladly like to see what you have in store for us. So then experiential learning. So what are you learning and how can you apply it? And I would like to give you the scenario of that you are building a house. So during this course, we are giving you the blueprints. We're giving you a list of materials. We're giving you the skills of how to build your house. You then at the end need to go and build your house. It does not have to be a fancy house, but it is your house. You have created that house from scratch. So what you put into your foundation is going to mean that is the quality of your house. So if we don't know anything, um, you have a question and we don't know what it is, we will Google it, we will find out, we will give you as much information um, as we possibly can. And what you learn here in this course, you might use um, as a tool in your classroom, or you might teach it to your learners, and your learners will use it as a tool for orals, for projects, um, to do homework and all those wonderful things. So our course structure, that we will be doing is in week one. We are here now. It's on Thursday. This will be our live session. That's today's session. Um, then we will go over to module one. Module one is all about the introduction and background. In what way is your school conducive to ICT? Integration. What technologies are available to you in your school. Then we will also um, give you module two today. That is about your educational environment. How to create an online teaching and learning environment. Establishing a routine that integrates the use of ICT. Then at the end of module one and two that you have now read through, um, we'll go through module one a little bit just to show you. It's not a handbook of 500 pages. I promise you, you will go through it quickly. Then we will give you an activity to do. It's a theory test. And 
for those that are a little bit worried about the activity, um, it is an open book activity. So feel free to Google or phone a friend. Whatever helps you to get through the activity, that will also be posted for you today. Then we will go over to module three, which is our digital content. Read through before we get to Thursday's live session. And then the fun part starts. We will be looking at finding and sourcing teaching and learning materials on the internet. And as many of you know, is once you've started Googling certain things, uh, then suddenly you realize it's two o'clock in the morning. You've gone so far from what you were supposed to be searching because you've been clicking on all these wonderful things. So we are going to direct you to a few things that we know work and then you can go crazy and Google till midnight. Um, we promise you once you've started, it's addictive. You're going to enjoy every part of it. Week two, uh, we will start with a live session on Thursday. Um, if you had a rough, busy week, then you're going to come and join the fun session and we can, you're going to play with us. This gives you something fun to do, fun ideas to go and practice over the weekend, because we know that if we end the session, then we don't always have the time to go and practice what we've learned. So keep the enthusiasm going into the weekend. And remember, this is not work. This is fun activities that will make your work so much more exciting. So then on Thursday, we have activity two. That gives you the opportunity to create your own Google slide. So don't um, get scared. Now, remember, we're going to go through every single step of the Google slides. And it, once you've started with the Google slides, I promise you a whole new world is going to open up to you. So don't be stressed about it. When we get there, you will exactly know what to do. So then we will release module four. That is about managing learning. We will look at how to use content management systems to organize, collect and distribute your content. We are also focusing on the Google Classroom. So many of you have now joined the Google Classroom. If you have not joined the Google Classroom, please do so. The link is going to be in the chat um, a little bit later on. There's a classroom code. Um, we will go through what Google Classroom is also a little bit later in the course. Then week three, we start with our live session. And this is on the importance of sharing. We will, make, uh, we will move through the content at a very nice pace. Easy to follow, not too rushed. Um, Collaboration might take some, uh, make, make some of you run for the hills. So when I hear group projects, I'm like, oh, there's always someone that doesn't do what they're supposed to do. But I promise you, we're going to make it so much fun that people are going to jump over each other to start this project. So um, we will um, allocate groups um, later on when we do the collaboration, the group project, we will send out the names for the groups to you on the classroom. So be part of a dream team and work together to build a great house. So encourage each other to build together. There are many teachers here who have never done anything like this before. Um, and we're going to take the hands. We're going to show you as much as possible because I promise you there are people who have done a little bit of this before. So they are always willing to help. So then we go over to module five. That will be cloud based collaboration. It focuses on um, collaboration and how to, we can all work on the same document at the same time. So communicating in a digital landscape and understanding cloud based collaboration environments like Google Drive and how to be able to share safely. Then activity three will follow. That is where you will make your group and you will have to create a Google slide together. Rem just remember one thing, your slide will be as good as your team makes it. And it again, like I say, doesn't have to be a fancy house, doesn't have to be a, have a binabrai and all those fancy things in a pool, but it has to have a walls, door, windows, and a roof. And I promise you, you're going to enjoy 
adding all the little textures and decor, decor to it later um, as soon as you start to play. Then we're going to go over to module six. That talks about, it's another little assessment, and we will look at digital assessments. That's using Quizlet, quizzes, using Google Forms, um, and gamification through the digital assessment. Now, if I tell you grade ones can do the Google Forms, some of you might not agree with me, but I want to tell you that during last year, we had our um, concert, and as all the teachers know we um, it's a it's a trying time for all teachers because some of the kids don't uh, pitch for the concert and then we're going to struggle because there's not groups there's an empty spot all those wonderful things so what i did in my class is i wrote a quiz for every night so when they came to the concert they had to do the quiz quickly the great ones we i had a little kindle on my desk they had to do the quiz and at the end of the day or the end of the night we looked at who was the winners of the three question math test or one question math test. And then they got rewarded the next morning with a tuck shop voucher. So the first day, everybody's like, oh, wow. OK, because everybody comes for the first day, but never the other days. So the second day, I had so many kids come extra because they wanted to do the quiz and have an opportunity to win a tuck shop voucher. So by just using a Google form quiz, I got my kids to the concert. So there's so many ways that we can use this, not just to educate, but to also make our lives a little bit easier. So let's go on week four. Now we are at the end of our, the last week of our course. And I promise you, before you blink your eyes, we're gonna be at the end of the course and you're going to think, what, how did we get here so quickly? So on the Monday, we will start with activity four. It's assessment design. So now you're going to design two digital assessments and an embedded digital assessment example. Now, don't stress about it. We're going to give you everything before then, and it's quite a lot of fun. Then on Monday, we will also post the last module, module seven. That will be our last module, and it focuses on learner-centered approaches. What is a flipped classroom? What is blended learning and constructivism learning? Constructivism learning approaches. Right, a lot of big words. I promise you I had to go and Google them as well. So then our last live session will then be on Thursday, where we have we're going to reflect back on um, what did we learn during the course? What do you think? Uh, I as a presenter or me as a presenter can improve on what would you like to add to the course? So if we present it again and what we can add with it, what do you want to share best practices, maybe challenges that you have had? And this will not mean that we are not suddenly leaving you to go and build your own um, house or go and go into the wild and go crazy. We're going to keep the Google Classroom and the Google Drive for you. So all those resources that we have developed during the course will still be available to you and all the slides that people have made and added to the Google Drive will still be available for you to go and copy and to use. So let's go and see if we can change the way you think, change the face of your classroom and change the outlook of your school to be a come SET school. You are now the captain of your own ship. So let's steer our schools into the future. So is there any questions that anybody has maybe that you would like to ask about the dates um, a little bit before we go on to the next slide? Marna, nie, das geen vraag hier is stadium nie. All right. Good, so the how it works, module one and two will be an um, assignment one. It will be a Google form. Um, I know most of you have worked on the Google form before. If you have not, it's easy to um, easy to fill in. So Google form for module one and two. Module three will be a Google slide um, assessment. Module four and five will be have assignment three that's your collaborative document with your groups and the 
uh, module six will be assignment for the web quest. Okay. So if you have any questions about the models, you are more than welcome to ask. So our course platform, this is very important. We are going to work on Google Classroom. Now in, I know a lot of my teachers that are um, at the same school as me um, is also on this course today. We, after the last Google Classroom training session we had with Louis, I think he presented that to us. Uh, we decided that we are tired of emailing everything to everybody. So we opened our own foundation phase, Akismat's Google Classroom. And all our documents are shared on there. We've put our principal also on it, our learning support teachers also on it. So whenever ne anybody needs names of learners that need learning support or names of the rugby teams or class lists or anything, they can just go into that. So that's what we've got here. I'm going to open the Google Classroom just for you quickly. Just give me two seconds. Ooh. I have to go out of this one to show you quick. Okay. Let it just open up for me quickly. So for those who have worked on the digital uh, Google Classroom before, um, it works like this. So it's got different categories. Here in the, on the front page of this book is us where we stream. So here we give you announcements like, let me put a nice little invitation there for you about the live sessions, the modules, the assessments. This is where we're going to give you all the information, the dates, the modules, all those wonderful things. Louis have also put in here the registration form that is to register for the course. It's not the register for the, um, for the today's session that we will post in the chat, ne? or it is posted in the chat already. Now, how this works is here at the bottom, you can give me comments um, that you would like to maybe ask a question or you want to say, wow, that's a nice thing. I've also got this, that, that it works nicely and so on. Then at the top, you will see it says classwork. So if I go into my classwork, there is my headings. So yeah, is where you will find your modules, you will find your assessment activities, all those wonderful things. Then mine looks a little bit different. You'll see as soon as we post the modules, it will be available for you. So the recordings will be here where it says recordings. Then we will have all the information for week one. But what you will also need to have now that is important to you is right at the bottom. We've got pre-course content. So this is our important dates of all the dates that we have, what module is going to be released, what sessions will be when, what the times are, that will be there for you. The course outline tells you a little bit about what each, in, in each module, what is going to happen there. Um, so that information is there for you. When you go up, we'll start now on week one. So when you, give post something, then you will also see there it says class drive folder. So you are now automatically connected to the Google Classroom folder. And there we will have folders for um, your project, collaborative project. There will be folders for grade one, two and three. If you want to add your Google Slides to it later on, we're building a resource bank basically. Ne? Um, your, you remember your classwork um, on the digital skills on the uh, Google Classroom will be empty because we're only posting the modules and all those information for you um, afterwards. Then you can go back and check all of that. I'm just showing you my one. I already have all the recordings on my one, um, but you will have all your information as soon as the session ends today. We're going to post everything for you and you will be able to see everything. Right, Alice, that, uh, does that answer your question? Okay, thank you very much. All right, so let me show you um, module one. Okay, before we go, it is compulsory for you to be part of the Google Classroom because if you're not part of the Google Classroom, you might not be able to get any information that we're doing 
any of the assessment works, the activity works, and so on. So if you see anybody that you know and they're not on the classroom, please, 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 please let them link to the classroom so they can also be able to get the information. If you struggle to connect to the classroom, let us know. It's very easy. Click on the link, give the classroom code, accept the invite. Sometimes you don't even have to give the classroom code. You just click on the link and you're in. So if you do struggle, please, please let us know. Then uh, let's go to module one quickly. Let me show you that. So your modules will open up whoo, as soon as it opens up. There we go. It's going to open up like that. Now you are working. This document is opening up in Google Slides. Google Documents is Google, uh, documents that you are able to edit online. So if I see this, it looks like PowerPoint. Basically, you can do the same activities as PowerPoint. So when I yeah, I've got all my slides on the side that you will be able to go into. I'm just waiting for it to load quickly. Um, there you will be able to click on all the different pages that will be in your module. What I did last year when I did the course is I copied this module. I printed it for me. So when the live stations go on or I Googled something interesting, then I wrote um, my notes on my modules. And then I just kept, um, and whenever I remember, oh, ooh, ooh I, I want to do this, but I can't remember, then I go back to my course notes. So let me show you quickly just how it works. Please tell me if I'm going too quick. I tend to speak very fast. So please let me know if I'm going too quick for you. So the module will open up like this. Now, what you will also see is it is interactive. So what that means is if I move my mouse anywhere on my slide, it's an arrow. As soon as I move my, my mouse onto an area that's been linked to another page, then it becomes a hand print. So then I know it is a, um, a clickable navigation tool that I can go somewhere else. So I'm going to click on virtual teaching oh, before we go to that right at the bottom. You'll be able to see you've got some arrows. So the arrow to the left takes me to my previous slide. The arrow to the top. If I press the arrow going up, I'm going back to this page because this is my table of content. When I press my arrow to the right, it's going to move me to the next slot. Let me go back to the front. So this will be your navigation arrows. We're going to teach you how to do that in your Google Slides. So if I click on my first one that says virtual teaching, I'm going to go on to the slides that talk about virtual teaching. Then I will go through all the little parts. As you can see, it's nice. It's easy to read. Not a problem. OK, so I'm just going to go back a little bit just so I can show you. So when we go through, I just want to get to a specific one quickly. Uh, here we go. So part of the, the modules are, we're doing a lot of theory in this part, but if you can see lots of theory, doesn't mean a book. Um, so this teaches you, it says the TPAC model helps us understand how three areas of knowledge, technical content and pedagogical knowledge need to intersect in order to create an effective digital enhanced learning experience. So you can have all the technology in your class that you can possibly have, but you don't know how to use it. You don't know the methods to fully incorporate that into your class. Um, for some people, they it's a white elephant. It's a lot of work. It, the kids can't do it, it's load shedding, there's no data, there's no internet, there's no whatever. Um, there's always a way, always a way to be able to work around something. So we're going to look at all of those wonderful things as well. So please look at that as well, how integration takes place. Then we're also going to look at the SAMR model, the SAMR model. 
So the, the model is another very useful model that allows us to reflect on how we integrate um, technology. And it's important to see um, it as stairs. So once you start at the bottom, you have to go bit by bit. You cannot now never use technology and now be right Google Slides and um, programs for the school. Take it bit by bit. See what you need to do. What do you need to design? What can you swap with something else that's going to be able to work? So these things um, Yaku has created for us. So go through it. See, we're going to put some extra stuff um, about these models on as well, because I find it very difficult uh, by myself when I see things like these to kind of get it around around my head. So I need to go Google a lot of different parts to see how does everything fit in. So go and Google extra. If anything we show you in these, this course makes you want to go do extra research, then we've done our jobs. Then we have awoken um, a joy for teaching and a joy for digital classroom and an openness to it. So that's what we want to go through with you. This also talks a little bit about how the revolution of technology. So we are now currently in the fourth industrial revolution. So a little bit of history in module one for you as well. But what we want you to do is, as you can see, we're going to go through and here we go to the end of that was the end of module one. So we're going to build our house little bit by little bit, brick by brick, bit by bit. So if I can show you this. This is my little house. This little house is by the beach. It's by itself. It's happy. It's not a fancy house, but it has a roof. It has windows, got a door. This is how your Google Slides are going to be. This is your experience. You're going to start with just a beautiful basic house that you are able to be proud of and that you can build. So if there's any questions, you can put it in the um, the chat for me now quickly. Um, especially about the Google Classroom. If you have anything that you need to ask us now um, about the Google Classroom, uh, feel free to do so. Um, we'd really like you to be able to complete the course. I know there are times when we were, might not be able to attend all the live sessions, um, but please don't skip the live sessions. We will. There's a lot of things that's being said in the sessions that um, is not in the modules or that we're not going to be able to place on the um, on the on the Google Classroom. It will only be in the recording. So please feel free if there's anything that you need to um, add to it or you need us to give you more information up, then please let us know. So, um, I mean, is there anything that we can, any questions or anybody that wants to maybe say something that we can do for you? Nee, nee, nog eigenlijk is nie. Ek het nou die link vir die eerste assessering hier in die chat geplaas, maar hulle gaan het ook binnenkort ons kry as het gepublis word in die classroom. So hulle hoef nou nie in de raas te klik of neer te skryf, hy gaan soos nou nou in die classroom ook wees. Ok, thank you Ami. And then what we gave you enough time, you please, you don't have to do module 1, 2 and the assessment tonight. Go and spread it out through the week, don't rush through to get it done, it's not a job, it's going to be nice and fun. Um, so um, if there's nothing else, Louis, I guess he's, I'm not sure if there's anything else you would like us to um, tell them and make sure they are aware of. Oh, I just quickly posted the four links for today. The first one that is that huge chat message for is the in session register for today. The second one is the invite link for the classroom. If you know some of your colleagues missed today's session, please get them to join the classroom. And if someone didn't actually pre-register for this course, then there is still the pre-registration link there at the bottom with the ID key 1582. And, and that's about all. I, I do want to tell you that 
all, all three of us involved in this respect your time so if there's something that we do and we're done we're done we're not going to fill up your time until four o'clock because it was scheduled until four o'clock we will respect your time this is a course that you can do self-paced at your own time within the guidelines of what should happen to week to week and i'm very excited for every single teacher that joined us today that, that's what i wanted to say thank you very much louis and i really hope that the colleagues at the schools will go and get your staff get them to register get to do this. If you work as a team, imagine what an awesome um, resource bank you can build if everybody does a part of it and we all connect through it. And that will be really, really, really wonderful. So, okay, if there's no, um, all right, there's, I see there's a question about the groups. The, uh, all the registered um, people uh, gave their email addresses when you registered. So in the time when we do the collaboration, you, there will be a document posted on the classroom that's going to say group one are um, these four teachers, um, group two will be this four teachers, and it will be randomly picked. It will not be um, a, a teacher from the same school or a group from the same school. We are expanding our horizons. So we're working with other teachers. And I must say last year, I had the opportunity to have uh, brand new teachers in my group that are first year teachers that's never done anything like this before. And uh, at first I thought, oh, you know, how are we going to handle? You're not, a, not allowed to use WhatsApp. You must use Google Slides and the classroom and all those kind of things. And it was wonderful. It was much easier than trying to connect on WhatsApp and all those kind of things. We opened the document up and we all worked on the document at the same time. I could see what they were changing on the slides. I, they could see what I was adding. We learned Bitmoji. Um, it was so nice getting somebody new to come and work with you, not the normal people that you see every day. Get a breath, that's like a breath of fresh air going on a holiday. Um, so, Licky, we will give you all of that closer to the time. Um, and I'd really want, want you guys to be able to connect. There will be two weeks, a two week gap. So as soon as you get your groups and what you need to do, you have an, about two weeks to be able to finish your Google slide and submit it. If one of your group, group members did not work on the project, then unfortunately they will not be assessed on that project. Only the people who physically worked on the project will be assessed on that specific project. Um, so yeah, please feel free to work together to do your, um, to get some ideas and to collaborate, but the groups will be mixed between the schools. Um, is that okay with you, Licky? You understand that? That, that sounds wonderful. Remember that they can't actually say something until we give them permission to say something. Oh, I'm sorry, Louis. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's better than nobody is muted and unmuted all the time. Okay. Right. So everything is published for you. If there's nothing else, I want to um, wish you luck for the rest of the course. And like I say, our doors are open. Let us know if there's anything you need, any help, anything. Just let us know and we will help you as much as possible. So if there's nothing else, Louis, thank you very much. Ami, well done. I think everything came through very quickly. So thank you very much to everybody. Load shedding is going to start at four, so you have enough time to go make a coffee quickly before the power goes off. All right, see you guys again on next Thursday. Enjoy your thank evening. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Thank you all in Marna. Good morning.